The recent response to the Murfreesboro Fire and Rescue and Police Department's Lip Sync Challenge music video has been huge, and with over a million views, it's safe to say it's gone viral. We here at City TV want to give you a behind the scenes look at how it all went down, who's behind the camera, and how a hometown country rapper and reality TV star said yes to support his community. The Murfreesboro Fire and Police Departments both seem to be on the same wavelength. Ashley McDonald, the Fire Department's Public Information Officer, contacted Police Officer Skyler Harris about an unrelated event and discovered they were both looking for a fun way to engage the community and decided to collaborate. We work in the field together daily, and so why not do this lip sync challenge together? Next step, get permission. And once the green light was given, McDonald called award-winning City TV producer Michael Neville, and they got to work finding the perfect song. We kind of traded off a couple of song ideas, and then she came across the one with Big Smo, and we both listened to it, and we're like, oh yeah, this sounds like, this sounds perfect and it was something that we knew that nobody else was doing so it was a great opportunity for us. McDonald contacted Big Smo, a successful music artist from right down the road in Bedford County. He immediately jumped on board with his hit song aptly named Workin'. They said they wanted to use my song Workin' and I thought well that's perfect. You know these guys know what work is all about I'm sure. Uh, and immediately I was com I was completely into it I, you know. This is everything that, uh, that me and my brand stands for. It's community, it's uh, hard working, uh, blue collared American, like it's, it's who I am. Officers and firefighters were given the song to practice and just a couple of days later, everyone was on set ready to go. As soon as I pulled up, I saw that the, the camaraderie and the energy was gonna be so positive and, and just overwhelming you know, for this project and I was instantly just tuned in on it. I mean, I was super thrilled to be there. The video shoot wasn't all work and no play. There was lots of fun going on behind the camera. I have heard some of the funniest stuff between firemen and police officers that I've ever heard. I had no idea that there was this, this banter between them that's just so funny. Like if you wanna make a police officer's life, hand him a hose. Like that, I was like, what? Like y'all say that to each other? It's so funny. Having the actual artist on hand set this video apart. It was also a treat for each agency. It gave them a chance to let their hair down, have some fun, and show the public they work for they're just like them and the community loved it. Some who were hesitant at first finally got on the bandwagon. Well, we got to recording it and then Smo was there and he was such a great sport about it. You know, everybody was excited to dance and then, then they started coming up with ideas like, hey, why don't you get me in front of this? Or can I have that part? And it just, I mean, it was a great opportunity for us to work together and kind of let our, let our hair down a bit. Everyone involved said they couldn't be happier with the way it turned out and that it was a great way to bring public service and the community together. When do you really see the public with the service? And when do you see them coexisting together and not maybe for the purpose of service, but for the purpose of just fun, just living, you know, and sharing something like a simple song about something that we do every day. You know, like it's something that we, we can't escape from. So why not embrace it and sing it at the top of our lungs? You know what I'm saying? We know we got to do it. Yeah. You know, so we might as well clock in and get to work. 